This is Mrs. Schaefer here. I just wanted to share with you some things on the 3.04 discussion quiz. It is based on a lab. However, we're doing the lab a little bit different. You can go in and use the lab in the course. It's fine to use. I just felt that there was a better choice, so we swapped out the lab with the FET simulation, just because I think you can see some of the test results a little bit better in this location. There was a couple areas where it was difficult to see the difference. So in this case, we're gonna go to the FET simulation um, and I'll walk you through how to do this in just a second. Um, so you'll see something that looks like uh, this screen. And then we are going to follow the directions here where we're gonna set um, the parameters to none and we're gonna pump on the handle um, and see what happens. We're also going to uh, remove some heat and see what happens. Uh, the next thing we'll do is add some heat and see what happens. We are um, going to then reset. So see so you can reset right here, click reset. Um, and then it will always, what can happen is sometimes um, we can pop that lid because the pressure grows too high. So we wanna make sure that we can reset this uh, simulation. And then we're going to um, change the volume. So to change the volume, you would use this slider bar and move it in and out. To change the pressure, you would pump on the handle. So we do need to start by adding some air in and then we can adjust the volume to see what happens. So, and then you'll be encouraged to spend some time uh, yourself going through the lab and that's gonna help you answer the questions so that you are gonna be posed in the discussion quiz. So to help you prepare for that, think about what happens in certain situations. If you have samples of gas molecules that are at the same internal pressure, what would the sample look like when it had a lower temperature? So we'll go through and look at that. Think about which law that applies to. Remember, we had these ideal gases laws. You'll think about which one that would apply to. So if the pressure is constant and the temperature was low, which one would you use? And what would you use to help you determine what will happen? Okay, how about this situation? When you pumped in gas into the container but kept the temperature the same, what happened? Which law is that? So the first thing you're looking for, which one has a temperature constant? And then you can see what would happen. The average kinetic energy proportional is proportional to the temperature. So if the temperature is increased, what will happen to the kinetic energy? So if we're adding in energy, what's going to happen? Another situation. If the temperature is constant, which sample will have the highest pressure? So using that information in the lab that I'm gonna show you here, we are going to answer a question like this. And then here's the situation. You are going to blow up three different size balloons. You have to have each of these balloons a different size. But to do this, you're using this experiment. You're gonna place the baking soda in the balloon using a funnel. Then you're gonna place the vinegar here in the container. After you've done that, you're gonna carefully add 
this balloon. So you're going to put the balloon opening over the bottle opening, and then you're going to open up the balloon so that it spills the baking soda into the bottle and reacts with the vinegar. Your, the balloon is going to collect the gases that are formed from the reaction of baking soda and vinegar. How can you get balloons at different sizes? What do you need to change to get balloons at different sizes? All of these questions can be found right here on this link. You can go into the 3.0 for gas laws discussion, download or click on this link so you can view it, take notes as you are working on this discussion. Also know that the word wall is right here. It has helps that we covered and pictures that you might want to use. So let's go into that simulation. Um, it's that simulation. So you'll have to click the download. And it will say this might harm your computer. Um, it has it runs on a Java program. That's what Blackboard runs on. So you can hit keep. You're going to download it and then click on the area where it has right here on my screen. You can see the tab and then your lab will open up. All right, so our instruction said the first thing we wanted to do was to make sure the parameters were at none and then pump the handle. And I'm going to add some bubbles and air molecules in there. What do you see? So look at the temperature, the pressure, and notice the volume. Okay, then it says, let's remove some heat. So this is one of those laws about heat. Which one is it? In this case, to remove heat, we have ice below it. What happens to temperature and pressure and volume? You can look at all of those. Okay. What happens when we add heat? You will have to click and hold it does not stay put. You have to keep the mouse going there. Ooh, what's happening? You can see the particles moving. What is happening to the pressure? What is happening to the temperature? What is happening to the volume? And we have popped the lid. So we can click on this, return the lid, it resets it, or we can come over here and hit reset. Both of those are options. We need to pump the handle some more to get some gas in our environment. Okay, so I pumped it a couple times. I can see what's happening. I'm noticing the pressure, noticing the temperature, and now it says to play with the volume. So I can do that by walking my man or dragging this handle out. Ooh, what's happening to that pressure and the temperature? As I increase volume, ooh, which law deals with volume, changing the volume? And what happens when I bring it in close? That's as small as I can get it. There's a little bit less. What's happening? What do you see? So previously, we noticed that pressure increased, temperature increased. We saw that pressure and temperature decreased together. We see that pressure and temperature increase and volume decreases. When you look at the guy here, he can move around and you could see those. And in this situation, we saw that if we increase the volume, pressure and temperature decrease. If we decrease the volume, pressure and temperature 
increase. All right, so there's some other parameters that you can use to, uh, with this, you can talk about constant volume, constant temperature, constant pressure, and then of course the none means that you determine what is going on. And then um, you can decide if you want heavy or light species and how many come in at each pump. So there's also some advanced options here if you want to uh, play with that. But there's a lot of good information there that will be used to help you go through this discussion. If you have any questions, please just review the material. Be sure to check out, like I said, check out that word wall. It will really help you out. There's lots of good information in. Check out the class recordings and ask, email, any questions you have. Hope that helps. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.